Hi everyone. Today we are going to be um, working on these icons. These are icons here. Um, we're going to save them as a .ico file for um, Windows, uh, but they don't have to be icons. I'm only doing icons now because um, I'm working on a little set uh, that I might give away for free sometime down the future when I get them done. Um, but I want a flat logo look for my uh, PC and most of the time when you make logos you'll do them inside of Inkscape or um, uh, Adobe Illustrator or something like that uh, but you can make them inside of GIMP also and they turn out pretty good uh, I kinda went off with this shadow down here I'll have to fix that um, but this is just uh, with text, and then we're going to make the skull one. So I'm going to do the text one really quick, and I'm just going to do it with one letter. This right here, um, all I did for this was I just used the G, and then I just used my uh, rectangular select tool to draw out the rest of it here. Um, so I'll just use a single letter for this one. And then we are going to work on this one because this one's pretty cool. And I just want to show you guys a different, uh, a few different things with the uh, select tools and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get started. Since I'm not making these as logos, I'm making these as icons. I'm going to start out uh, at 500 by 500 because, you know, you could always make them bigger and then scale down. So we'll go ahead and click on OK. And I'm just going to drag and drop this over here to the background, make the background white. And I'm going to create a new layer. And we'll just, uh, we'll leave that for now. And we're going to come over here to the text tool. Actually, sorry, we're going to come over here to the ellipse select tool. And my settings, uh, I got my settings on... I don't want to feather the edges, so I'm going to turn the feather edges option off. I want to expand it from the center. I got a uh, fixed aspect ratio ticked and I got one to one. So I'm just gonna come right over here. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit using my mouse wheel and I'm just gonna drag out from the middle here. And I'm just gonna come in here and I'm going to move this circle along. And that looks okay to me. Now we're going to go ahead and just click on our color here and the color I'm going to be using is this blue color. It's 00, zero B D B F. Press OK. And then I'm just going to drag and drop it just like that. I'm going to press Control Shift A to deselect. And I'm going to go ahead and go to my text tool now. And I'm going to click this little black and white down here to reset these. And I'm going to move to white. And that's okay. And I'm going to go ahead and use the same font as my last tutorial, which was Gotham. And we'll just type out, uh, hmm, I don't know, a W. And I'll just double click on it. And we'll raise the size up of it a little bit. And then I'm going to click on my move tool. And I'm just going to move it kind of right there. And I'm going to eyeball it kind of in the middle. Maybe I will go back to my text tool and lower the size down just a little bit. I might have made that kind of too big. Grab my move tool again and just eyeball it in the middle. And then we're going to click and make new layer and we can name this shadow. And we're going to put this under the text and I'm just going to grab my free select tool. And let's see here. How do we want this shadow to go? So we'll come, I'll zoom in here and we'll come off this corner. And just kind of click on the outside there. And let's see here. Just come and just click right in there. And let's see how that looks. I'm going to switch over to black. 
And I'm just going to drag and drop it on there. And I'm going to press Control Shift A to deselect. And I'm going to put this opacity down to about 30%. Then I'm going to come back to our circle layer and I'm going to right click alpha to selection. I'm going to press Control I on my keyboard to invert that selection. I'm going to click back on the shadow and I'm going to put, uh, press delete on my keyboard. Press Control Shift A. And there you go. So it's pretty simple. You just need to make the shadow kind of long. And um, that's all there is to it for that. So we are now we're going to go ahead and make this skull one because that's what I wanted to do the tutorial on. So I'm going to create a new one, 500 by 500. White background is fine. We're going to go ahead and make a new layer. We'll just name this uh, circle. And we'll grab our ellipse tool again and scroll in a little bit with using my mouse wheel and just drag out just like that and we are going to be using this uh, darkish kind of blue color and it is 1A 2C 2C so I'm just going to grab this color and I'm going to drag and drop it on there. I'm going to press Control Shift A to deselect. And then we're going to create a new layer. And we'll name this Skull. Press OK. And using my ellipse circle tool, we're going to come right here and just drag out the circle. I uh, like that's fine. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on my rectangular select tool. And I'm going to, normally it's on this mode right here, the replace current selection. We want to go over here and do the add to current selection. So just click on that. And uh, I got rounded corner selected and I got mine set at 20 pixels. And we're just going to come right around here. Just kind of drag out a skull shape and kind of kind of try to get it centered. You don't have to be perfect. And as you can tell, I didn't do the rounded corners on this one. Um, so maybe we shouldn't do it for this one. No, that's fine. We'll leave it like that. Now we're going to just go over here and we're going to drag out the white color. Press Control Shift A and I'm going to Control Z all this because for some reason, add to current selection, drag out, box, move that in some. There we go. Press Control Shift A to deselect. And now we got a little skull looking guy going on there. We're going to create a new layer and we're going to call this uh, eyes or eye. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to stay on the rectangular select tool and we'll go back to the replace selection mode. And we're just going to drag out some eyeballs just like that. And I'm going to use the same green color here. And I'm just going to drag and drop it just like that. I'm going to press Control Shift A to deselect. Then I'm going to press uh, with selected on this layer, Control Shift D to duplicate. Then I'm going to press M on my keyboard for my move tool. And I'm just going to move this copy of this one over here. Just like that. And I'm going to click back on the rectangular select tool. I'm going to create a new layer, call it nose. And we'll just drag out. A little bit of a nose just like that. You can make your nose however you would like. And then we're just going to drag and drop this color back on it. Press Control Shift A to deselect. And now it is time for the mouth. So let's create another new layer. And let's call that this one mouth. And let's just drag us out a mouth over here. Kind of line that up there. And then let's drag in this blue color. Press Control Shift A to deselect. And then let's go ahead and stay on this layer. 
And let's zoom in here now. And let's just go ahead and draw out some teeth. And you can make your teeth however you want them to look, just like that. And I'm going to press delete on my keyboard to delete that. And then I'm going to press M on my keyboard for my move tool. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on the selection tab so I can move this selection. And then I'm just going to move this selection over just a little bit and press delete. And I'm using my arrow, my right arrow on my keyboard to move this selection. I'm going to press delete and I'm just going to keep on going down the line. Press delete. Press delete. And press delete. Just like that. And let's go all the way over here to this end. And press delete. Just like that. Now I'm going to press control shift A to deselect. And now we're going to go back to our rectangular select tool. And I'm going to stay inside the mouth. But I'm just going to draw out a little selection. Just like that. And I'm going to move this down sort of kind of towards the middle and then I'm just going to drag and drop this blue color on top of it and press control shift A to deselect and there you go you got your a little skull looking guy and what I did was uh, I went back over here I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to link all these real quick because I didn't make it quite big enough and I'm going to press uh, shift T on my keyboard and I'm going to go ahead and make him just a little bit bigger and scale. And then I'm going to press M on my keyboard for my move tool. And I'm going to click back and make sure I'm click back on layer. And I'm just going to kind of line him up in place there. That looks okay to me. And now I'm going to go ahead and just uh, hold down shift and shift again to unlink all those and I'm gonna click back on the skull and I'm gonna right click and I'm going to add a layer mask white full opacity press add I'm gonna switch my colors back to black and white and I'm gonna grab my paintbrush tool and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna grab a 100% hard brush and I'm gonna just gonna come right in here on these corners I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm just going to take a chunk out of them just like that and then I'm going to come back over here and I think this star is default with GIMP. That's fine. And I'm just going to come back over here and I'm going to go about here on each side of his face. Just like that. And now we can go ahead and create a new layer and call this shadow. And let's grab our free select tool again. And let's just click right here and let's drag out. And let's see. Maybe right there. And we'll try that and see how that looks. I'm just going to grab this black, drag and drop it. Control Shift A to deselect. And it's not enough shadow. So I'm about, oops. I'm about, I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to come about, I don't know, this up to this corner here. And we'll just kind of try that and see how that looks. Then we're going to drag and drop the black there. Control Shift A to deselect. Then come back to the circle. Right click on it, alpha to selection. Press Control I to invert that selection. Click back on our shadow and press delete. Control Shift A to deselect. And let's put this on about 30. And I like that. That looks very good. And that's a quick, simple, easy way um, with basic shapes to make a cool icon. And then all you need to do is go up to file. And uh, I got export today, huh? You could click on export or export as it's up to you and I just went over here and I scrolled down and I found Microsoft Windows icon uh, 
I'm not sure if you guys uh, will have that. I, I think you will. Um, if not, then go to all files. Let's see if that'll work. All files and then uh, scroll to, I'll name that dot ICO and click in the icons folder and I'll click export. Yep, that'll work. We're going to cancel out of that though because I forgot that we need to go ahead and come all the way up to this top layer, right click and come down here and click on flatten image. Now, if you don't want this white background in your icon, before you flatten the image, just go down and delete that background and then you'll have alpha in there, but I'm going to leave it. So I'm going to go ahead and right click. Oops. Control shift A to deselect. I'm going to right click and go down to flatten layer. And now it's all flattened. Now we're going to go back to export or export as and name it school two. And then I'm going to go in my folder and we're on all files. And all I did was I went skull two dot I C O that's icon file for windows. And I'm going to click export and 24 one bit. That's fine. And just hit export and there you go. There's our skull two logo right there. And then I'll make a folder real quick. Uh, just go to new folder. Um, name it something test. I'm going to right click, go to properties, go to customize, change icon, go to browse, and then go wherever you have your out icons at. And I'm going to click on scroll two and I'm press open. Okay. Apply. Press okay. And there you go. And now you got your icon on one of your folders. So that's pretty cool. You could use it for these icons up here too, if you'd like. And that's what I'm working on right now. And I imagine you could use these for rocket dock and all them other good type of deals. But, um, I just wanted to do my take on these long shadows and do a pretty cool little quick video for you guys to show you how it's done. Um, I mean, there's numerous ways to do it, but this is how I go about doing it. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Please like and subscribe for tons more tutorials and have a great day. Thank you.